Am I allowed to swear on this? Okay. Because <laughs> I almost did then, I was like, oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Payne, I play Jesus on AMC's The Walking Dead, and this is Rolling Stone's Fan Theory Exploder. Inspired by Morgan's departure to fear The Walking Dead, Paul Jesus Rovia will headline his own spin-off series entitled Conquest for the Planet of The Walking Dead. That would be so fun. Like Jesus walking around with his knives and his ninja skills. What is it? Conquest for the planet of The Walking Dead. Well, I guess that means that then the whole planet has been given up to the walkers and we're not, we've given up on trying to make it human uh, again, which I guess is pretty much where we are now. So yeah, that could work. Yeah, I like that idea. Number three, facing crises of conscience, Daryl and Tara will be divided on whether they should enact their revenge on the newly turned Dwight. Personally, I found it always, I found it a bit like, come on guys, like he's obviously helping us and he's putting himself at extreme risk, so give the guy a break. Um, but then also that's because, I mean, my character doesn't actually really have much to do with that whole situation. So that's just me as Tom reading the scripts and watching the show. But I can totally see, like, Tara's um, girlfriend was killed by Dwight and, and he turned around and said I wasn't aiming, I wasn't aiming at her, which is kind of cold, but it is true, like, he didn't mean to kill her. He was trying to kill Daryl. So Daryl does have somewhat of a reason to be mad at him. Um, but I think he's uh, paying a penance now and, 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 like I said, putting himself at extreme risk. So I think they should cut him some slack and, uh, and I, think, I think that might be the way to the victory for us. But we'll see. The writers will give up any pretense of mortal danger for Rick and Daryl, replacing their plot armour with literal body armour during every fight sequence. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's obviously not going to happen, um, but I think the plot armour is thick enough that they don't need the actual armour. Um, but we'll see. I mean, you never know on the show. I, I, I know lots of people are finding the latest death tough and, um, and completely unexpected, but then I think that's how things should go. Uh, I think the show should be completely unexpected and, and no one is uh, safe, including Rick uh, and Daryl. And I think uh, with what's just happened, I think that rocks the boat a bit more and, and shows that no one has thick enough plot armour. We'll see. In a bit of fan wish fulfilment, Eugene will just die like the coward he is. There's a lot of bloodthirsty fans that watch this show who are just desperate for people to die as soon as they mess up um, or do something that the audience don't feel is right. Eugene is basically just a coward and um, he's all about self-preservation. Uh, we're in an interesting position with him because I think fundamentally like, he knows what Rick's group did for him and, and how, uh, how they helped him out and how he's survived for so long is in no small um, debt to Rick and his group. I don't think Eugene is a lost um, character. Uh, he's certainly not being very helpful <laughs> to our cause at this moment in time. Contrary to previous reports, shippers will finally get what they want in the form of a Daryl Jesus romance. So shippers and shipping is an entirely new concept to me <laughs> before I got on this show. And it was a really interesting um, situation because Norman actually warned me about it before, before my episodes aired and said, oh, you know, this is going to happen. And I was like, oh, okay, interesting. He was like, yeah, I get sent these pictures of me and people, and, and we all do from different people. I was like, hmm, okay, interesting. And then, lo and behold, it happened and I get all of these pictures of, of Jesus with different characters and quite a lot of Jesus and Daryl pictures. Um, and I know it's a very uh, popular ship amongst the fans. <laughs> I, can, I kind of... For me, it, it's just nice that the fans are so invested in the characters and want the best for them and just want them to be happy. The season will end with Negan's defeat, opening the door to the greatest threat yet, the Whisperer War. The Whisperer War. I've read all the comic books and uh, I'm super excited uh, to see if we get to the Whisperers and if they come into the show because I actually think that um, Alpha, uh, the leader of the Whisperers, is the best um, baddie uh, in, in the comic books. Um, worse than Negan, um, worse than the governor. She just, um, she has no, um, she doesn't give a fuck, basically. Like, she'll, she'll straight up kill you. Yeah, I'm eager to sort the Negan thing out so we can get to the Whisperer War, definitely. 
Uh, so that's it for Rolling Stones Fan Theory Exploder. Uh, not much more to say um, apart from... Oh, there is one thing that I can tell you. So... Um... Right, cut, 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 cut. Oh, okay, fine.